Hey guys, I know I've been talking a lot about snails lately, but I just cannot get past uh, how cool they are and just, I know it's really dorky, but I want to talk about taking care of mystery snails and getting them to breed because I think if you give it a try, you will find yourself also becoming addicted to keeping snails. Um, as far as taking care of mystery snails, oh, and by the way, a lot of people might call mystery snails apple snails, but it's really, um, your local fish stores sell them as mystery snails, and there's lots of other species of apple snails, so uh, without getting too technical, let's just call them mystery snails, because, yeah, um, as far as taking care of them, they're super easy to take care of. Um, if you're wanting to just throw them in a community tank, that is perfectly fine. You know, they're really good at being scavengers and feeding on like rotting, uh, vegetation and stuff, maybe uneaten fish food. Uh, don't get that mistaken as eating fish poop because, uh, a lot of people think bottom feeders eat fish poop. Uh, that's... That's a whole other topic, but that's not the case. They actually do eat uh, vegetation, and they're really scavengers, and will eat really close to anything in the tank as far as like fish food, um, fresh vegetables. A lot of people commonly feed them uh, crab food as well, just because uh, it's easy to get in Hikari brand. Uh, makes that really famous crab bites or whatever they're called. I don't really use those. I'm constantly feeding my snails just fresh cucumbers, uh, vegetables, anything I can just throw in the tank. And uh, they absolutely adore it. And the uh, I really like it when, you know, you can give the animals inside your tank the best life possible. And if you're trying to breed them, you're going to want to try to do that anyways. So... Um, I'll show you my tank here. Uh, it's nothing special. It's just a 40 breeder. I keep it on the ground because the tank, um, the, it's cooler water temperatures. This is around 75 degrees Fahrenheit on the ground sitting on the concrete. This is the tank. I know it's kind of a weird view and yes, the water is kind of cloudy because you'll find when you put fresh vegetables in your tank, uh, it's gonna cloud your water kind of sucks. It doesn't mean the water's bad with nitrates or Bad just however you're thinking But it does cloud the water If it really bugs you do a water change um, as you can see here. I have a fresh piece of uh, squash cut up and um, I also have a calcium piece of calcium in there. You can see it that white piece um what I feed my snails, because snails, it's really important that you get uh, calcium in their diet. They need to ingest it, and it also needs to be absorbed in the water. And these are great for snails. They're called Wonder Shell. You get them on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description box. They're, I think, like five bucks, but uh, they do really great. I always see the snails on them. Okay. So as far as taking care of them, um, basically uh, water parameters, they're really wide open as far as water parameters. They will adapt to um, anywhere from temperatures of 72 to 85. I would advise somewhere in the middle of that. But um, as far as they really like like um, hard water too, I believe it is. And I mean, they like minerals in the water because they're almost being absorbed into their shells, sort of say. And again, I'm not some specialist with snails. I'm really new to this, but it, snails are, these mystery snails are really easy to take care of. So basically, um, you give them good food source, I give them uh, fresh veggies, and you make sure they have enough adequate calcium. Sorry, this is kind of a weird view. I'm like literally on my side. Um, and uh, they're gonna be great. And if you're interested in breeding them, this is also another topic uh, as far as breeding. You're gonna wanna lower the water level about three inches lower 
than the top and you're gonna want a really tight lid, tight uh, fitting lid just to kind of hold the moisture in here because when they lay their eggs are also uh, um, also known as clutches. This is what a clutch looks like. They're commonly, uh, they're really weird looking and this tank is full of clutches in the inside here if you can see them. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stand back up. That's getting too weird for me, laying on the ground. <clears throat> but yeah, give them good diet. Um, make sure they have adequate calcium. And uh, if you're looking to breed them, lower the water level three inches um, from the top. Make sure you got a tight closed lid and make sure uh, there's some surface agitation to kind of, uh, the reason you want a tight covering lid is because you need that humidity for the eggs to hatch. And when they hatch, the babies eat their way out. It's uh, really exquisite stuff. I actually witnessed babies coming out the other day. It's ridiculously awesome. Oh, and I wanna show you guys. This tank is just stacked with baby mysteries in here. And uh, in each clutch, you can have anywhere from uh, 50 to 200 snails. So, and what I'm doing is populating all my 30 fish tanks with mystery snails. And um, they're awesome scavengers, bottom feeders. I guess you wouldn't really call them a bottom feeder, but uh, mystery snails are awesome. Super easy to keep. Uh, I just went over all the basics to keep them and again I'm not even I'm I'm new to snails I'm just super ecstatic about keeping them uh, I figured I'd do a video because I've spent hours researching them and it's uh, it they're easy to take care of and yeah so let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments about snails or maybe you have some cool stories about snails maybe you're hooked on snails like I am uh, it's kind of like shrimp. Like once you get into shrimp, there's no turning back. Shrimp, snails, uh, it's kind of the same way. So I'm trying to think what else to say here. Uh, there's different color mystery snails, all different types, different colors, uh, sexing them, uh, figuring out which is male, which is female. That's a little beyond my level of expertise, but there are some really good videos. Uh, Corey from Aquarian Co-op has a video on sexing them. Uh, you'll commonly see them mating. Uh, here's here's some mating right here. I'm pretty sure. I mean, if they're not mating, they're doing some sort of weird uh, grinding on each other or feeling each other out. I don't know. Anywho, snails are awesome. Mystery snails. Uh, Send me pics of mystery snails. I want to see big ones. I, I've been trying to see how big I can get a mystery snail just because I have some monsters, but I, I've i seen some pics of people just, just big mysteries. So, sorry, I get worked up with uh, showing my, uh, just, uh, I love this stuff, man. It's my life. Uh, 30 fish tanks. Um... Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, by the way, starting a new channel. I know this is kind of off topic. I don't know why I'm choosing to do this now. Starting a new channel, it's gonna be called Beta Fish Keepers. Uh, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I'm really big into beta fish. And it's been a really long time since I've done videos on them. Uh, I actually have a beta fish, uh, the group, Facebook group, Beta Fish Keepers. And uh, it's over 40,000 members. Um, I'm the admin of that group and I'm starting a new channel just completely devoted to beta fish It's gonna be completely awesome super excited about it and If you are interested in, in subscribing, I'll throw a link in the description box um, I'm I'm having a person design all of the channel art all that stuff right now so it's gonna be in the making and I'll make sure to share some uh, cool beta videos here. I do have other channels. I'll share them here and there and over there and so forth. So, uh, fish keeping is awesome. May God be with you. I don't know why I said that, but.